Can you find the length x without using a calculator? Press pause to try or continue for the solution. To answer this problem, first note there are two right angle triangles. Triangle ABC and BDC. The video shows how to use trigonometry and then Pythagoras to find x. Sokotoa is a limerick, which is often used to recall the trig formulas. Sine, cos, and tan. So in triangle BDC, sine 60 equals BC the side opposite 60 degrees over the hypotenuse, the side opposite the longest side, which is 6 metres. Multiplying both sides by 6 gives BC equal to 6 sine 60. We can calculate the value of sine 60 by using an equilateral triangle with its angles of 60 and sides of two units. Any length will do, but two is the simplest to work with. Draw a line of symmetry to obtain two congruent triangles. Use one of the triangles to calculate the side now labelled A. Use Pythagoras' rule, 1 squared plus a squared equals 2 squared. Evaluate the squares, subtract 1 from both sides, and finding the square root gives a equal to root 3, which is now recorded on the diagram. Using this triangle and the trig formula, to find the value of sine 60, which equals the length of the side opposite 60 degrees, which is root 3, over the hypotenuse, which is 2. So sine 60 equals root 3 over 2. Substitute into the equation for BC, giving BC equal to 6 times root 3 over 2 and simplify to give BC equal to 3 root 3. And writing the value of BC on the diagram. Using Pythagoras in triangle ABC to obtain AB squared equal to BC squared plus AC squared. And substitute the values to obtain 9 squared equal to 3 root 3 all squared plus x squared. Evaluate giving 81 equal to 9 times 3 plus x squared, since 3 squared equals 9 and root 3 squared gives 3. Giving 81 equal to 27 plus x squared. Subtracting 27 from both sides gives x squared equal to 54. And finding the square root of both sides gives x equal to root 54. To simplify the third, write 54 as 6 times 9, which can be written as root 6 times root 9. Since the square root of 9 is 3, x can be written as 3 root 6, which is the answer to the problem. The problem was solved by first remembering the trig formulas, finding the trig ratio for sine 60, using trigonometry, Pythagoras, and simplifying the third. I hope you found this video useful.